Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yes, exactly there. Oh, oh yeah. Don't stop. Don't stop. Don't stop. Yeah. Oh no, don't stop. Oh. You're just too good for me. Steven, what are you doing? Oh hey. Oh hey guys, so I was just watching some reality love um, National Geographic in my new massage chair, which is by the way awesome. But today I want to show you something truly impressive and this is how to turn every mobile VR headset into a fully working gaming VR setup on which you can even play GTA 5. So I would say let's get directly started and let's check it out. Wouldn't it be cool to play PC games using Google Cardboard? Now I tried this earlier with my Noon VR headset, which offers streaming over Wi-Fi in the app. But still I wanted a fast connection without any lag to get a good gaming experience. Now you can finally also do that with a simple app for Android and iOS. And this app is called Trinos VR and it makes PC gaming possible on any mobile VR headset. I could test Oculus and HTC Vive and also some prototypes. And yes, they work great, but to be honest, the price is crazy. And nowadays, smartphones have incredible resolutions like the new Sony Xperia XC Premium, which has an impressive 4K display, and also the mobile processors, they get faster and faster from day to day. So I thought it must be somehow possible to make VR gaming headsets cheaper, and this app makes it possible. There is a free version and a premium version. The free version gives you full access for around 15 minutes only and the paid one is around 9 euros and gets you full access all the time. But well, there are sources on the internet where you will find it for free. But to be honest, if a app is as good as this one, I'm happy to donate a couple of dollars to the developers. So how does it work? Now you simply connect your phone over Wi-Fi or USB. And it works with all kind of Android phones and even iOS. So Trinos VR connects your Android phone to your PC, so you can play your favorite PC games in virtual reality. They use the sensors in your phone for head tracking and to give you a good gaming VR experience. However, the head position in the room itself is still something you need an external head tracker or use the software FaceTrack No IR, which uses your webcam to track your head. It's not as accurate as IR and sometimes messes up, but still it works okay. So you need to install Trinos on your phone and on your PC or Mac. And in the program itself, you need to choose which headset you use. So you need to customize it a little bit. If you can't find your headset in the settings, then you need to customize the settings for the best user experience. However, it's not that hard and there's some guides online. So the most important thing is the IPD, it's the interpupillary distance. And this is basically the distance between your pupils. If you don't set this correctly, you won't see a single image so you probably will see two images or feel a very strong eye strain. It also allows you to install the Steam VR driver which makes sure that Trinos is detected as a VR device in Steam and this makes it actually a pretty interesting application. It works pretty good but you can't play in room scale like with HTC Vive. So for a full tutorial regarding the settings, check out the video description. So which games did I play now? Now I played Minecraft, I played Counter-Strike Global Offensive, I played H1C1 and GTA 5. Now they all work fine, but they need some additional customization, like in some games you can't see the HUD and in Trinos there is a menu point where you can fix that and draw a custom HUD. So the gaming experience really depends on your phone and your headset, and also on the lens settings. And also sometimes I experience some chitter, so this is if the sensors from the smartphone are messed up and you can recalibrate that but also adjust all the settings in the game and in Trinos itself. Also I really recommend to play with a controller just like an Xbox controller but anyway um, you can use free P which can emulate a bunch of devices and then this is even more fun. So for instance you could use a Wii mode so the Wii controller or the PlayStation Move controller in Steam VR instead of the HTC Vive controllers. It's a little bit complicated to set it up but once your setup is running then you can play almost everything. All right guys, so as you can see, this app works pretty good and it gives you a bit the feeling or at least the experience and how it feels to play PC games on a virtual reality headset. 
It's far away from high-end virtual reality headsets like HTC Vive or Oculus. I own both of them, I also played on some prototypes and I have to say, yeah, it's an immersive experience. It feels great but also super expensive. So I sold HTC Vive because I just played like a couple of hours, then I got a little bit motion sick and also it was super expensive. So I just wanted to sell it because I have no time for it. Then um, yeah, I just kept a couple of those mobile VR headsets like the Noon headset and I watched some movies from time to time but still on a smartphone there was not enough content to enjoy mobile VR. And I think if you can combine mobile VR with a computer like uh, with the cable and you stream the PC games to the headset this is absolutely awesome. Just imagine, um, next month I'm flying to Lisbon to check out the new Sony Xperia XC Premium and it has a 4K display, which is really 4K all of the time. And also the smartphone processors, so the chipsets, they get more powerful from day to day. So just imagine that, you have one virtual reality mobile headset like the Noon VR or um, anything else like a more expensive one with a wider field of view. So um, you just slide in your smartphone and you have a fully working virtual reality headset and also smartphone processors, so the chipsets, they get more powerful from day to day. So just imagine, you have one mobile virtual reality headset like the Noon headset or anything else, also probably some more expensive one with a wider field of view. Maybe in the future there will be a super mobile virtual reality headset with a, a super lens, super field of view and then you just slide in your smartphone and you have a fully working virtual reality headset which is also upgradable when you get the next generation of your smartphone. And yeah, um, the Huawei P10 which I have right over here, it has a 1080p display and still you can see the pixels but if I um, just remember the Sony Xperia C5 Premium, it had a 4K display and when I switched on 4K and I had it in my virtual reality headset, this looked really sharp. And yeah, um, just imagine that in the future and then it will be really, really awesome. So you just need your smartphone, then some $50 mobile virtual reality headset and play all the games on your computer. So well, just um, some words about the software itself. Now, if you play over Wi-Fi, I couldn't test this in my office because there was just way too much lag, so I couldn't really play. With USB, it's working absolutely fine. So, if you want to play over Wi-Fi, you need a very fast router and you need to be near your router. But then, it should also work so you can check out some videos online. So, how does it feel to play? Now, I played Counter-Strike. There was a minimal amount of lag, so you could feel a bit it's not that smooth, but it was not too hard so it's just like that's the difference between the mobile VR headsets and the more expensive ones so also the input lag is very low on them but playing some casual games like Minecraft and such things actually they were totally playable but I had to mess around with the configuration like um, for a whole day until I had the perfect settings for this headset and the smartphone and my eyes so this can be kind of confusing also on how to get head tracking to work, but I'll leave you some links down below in the description. All in all, I can say, um, try it. It's definitely awesome. And if you like the application, then just buy it. It's not so expensive. And they did a really good job on that application. So you can find a link to the application down below to some mobile VR headsets. If you buy one, just make sure it has a wide field of view. I actually also enjoy this one here because it's quite compact, but there are also ones with a wider field of view, which gives you a more immersive experience and it doesn't feel like you would have goggles on your face. All right, so um, that's it, guys. Um, I hope that you did enjoy this video. I hope I was not talking too long right now, but this is just something I really wanted to show you. And next week, we're also going to have a talk about VR with some big electronics company here in Austria, at Saturn, and I'm pretty excited about that, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions, down below in the comments. If you like this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe if you don't want to miss any future content. I'm Steven from Tech Magnet and I'll catch you in the next one.